What do you get when you cross a super speedway shaped much like in the shape of a Homestead Miami Speedway, I guess you might say, with banking like Bristol, just the big, just the biggest super speedway ever to create it on on a on a video game like this. This is Coca-Cola Speedway is where we're at today here in the, in the FedEx Nationwide Series. As we are at Coca-Cola Coca Speedway for the Coca-Cola 300. The track is 3 miles in length and 36 degrees of banking. And the pole speed by the pole sitter for the race, race Sir, Sir Ron Tahari in the 27 car, 261 miles an hour. No kidding. <laughs> Sir, Ron, Sir Ron Tahari has the pole for this race. Alongside of him is Skylon Carlson. Row 2 has the 54 car of Zach Carlson and Hannah Smith in the 2 car. Row 3 has, Jake, has Josh Sears in the 40 and the 46 car of Yokohama Kato. Row 4 has Servan Sarian in the 16 car. And the 30 of Cement Ozcon. And Jake Sears and Bridget Boleu have row 5 in this race. And get a load of what the start of this race is going to be like. Here we go, and boogity, boogity, boogity! Skylon Carlson actually beats Saron Tahiri on the start. And I looked at the telemetry. They're already at 192 miles an hour before they get off into turn number one. And Skylon Carlson jumping out in front in car 97. But the 27 car of Saran Tahari has the inside lane as they go off into turn number three. Let's say we do this. Boy, that field went by quick. Oh, trouble! No. Nicholas Guerrera, he crashes. Skylon Carlson on her roof. Josh Sears is in it. Oh, Bridget Boleu in a 70 car. Robbie Hardy in the 88 car. Who all's left in this race? Looks to me like Yokohama Kanto in the 46 car is your leader of the race. Oh, Hannah Smith in the 2 car. She didn't need this at all. That's going to blow any shot she had of the championship right out the window for Hannah. You do have to say, though, it speeds at 260 plus miles an hour on a track like this. Things like this are going to happen. And I would not count on this race finishing on a green flag, truth be told. I believe it, yeah, no secret the accident started up front as it as it as I would have to Look to me like it involved the actually the first lap leader of the race, um Saron Tahari in the twenty seven car. Him and Skylon Carlson look like they got together in the... Yeah, boy, look how close that was there. Oh, look how... That was close between Saron and, and Skylon. That's 
far as he led the lab. There is right there. Oh, so close. And then, yeah, Zach Carlson tapped Saran Tahiri in the 27 car. Skylon Carlson then went up the track, and then she got down on the apron of the track in the 97 car. And she goes upside down. Jake Sears, he barely snuck through in the 44 car. Lucky him. That have been devastating to his points hopes. Marco Rossi, he just, he's going to clip the 66 of Nicholas Guerrera. Jacqueline Duhamel did a great job getting through the crash. Not so with Hannah Smith in the two car. I think I might see a little damage on Jake Sears' car. I don't know, but... But that 44 car, lucky again. To get, this is why he's the points leader, guys. But I, I don't know if he. I don't think he got any damage or, or something. I don't know. He might have. I see a little bit, of maybe a tire, flat tire, or whatever. But he goes up the track. And then the wrecking all starts right behind him there. Josh Sears, his brother's in it. There's where Scott. Well, I can't get to her. Scott and Carlson goes upside down. Well, let's, well, fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Let's go for a ride with Skylon Carlson. Let's go on board. This is going to be wild. There. On board with Skylon Carlson. Poor Skyland just on her roof there through the... No secret, she's out of the race for sure. Well, just the attrition rates off, out of this world. And yet Jake Sears is still in the race in the 44 car, our championship leader. Yokohama Kato in the 46 car will be leading the race. It was only a nine lap event here at Coke Close Speedway, by the way. So we will get a restart, I believe, a green white checkered already. And it's a very short race. Or maybe not, but we'll have a three to go restart, actually. And of course, if anything happens, this race is over, so. Here we go, the green flag waves here at Coca-Cola Speedway. Domingo Migawate in the six car, he might dive inside of Servant Serene in the 16 car. Yokohama still leads the racers, they go down the... Down the back stretch they come here. As, here comes Justin Perry in the 18 car. Here comes the men dude, Migawate in the inside of the 6 car. Justin may have a try to go 3 wide there in a turn number 3 as they go down and the men dude, Migawate will take the lead as they go down in the 1st and 2nd turns, or 3rd and 4th turns now. Justin Perry dives inside. Tim Frelick makes a move on the inside of the 29 car. Two laps to go here at Coco Speedway. Ooh, Justin Perry gets in the middle three wide mix here. And it's Tim Frelick to the lead now. John Dawson in the 11 car goes in the second position. James Acosta in the 15 car. He's not out of it yet. Neither is the 9 of Scholar Harris. Off in the third and fourth. Turns now out of turn number four. They come the white flag waves. I mean, one more lap to go here at Coco Speedway. Look at him slicing and dicing all over the place. The white flag waves. Here they come in the turn number one. And the speed they went up in the turn number one. They went up in the turn one at 264 miles an hour. 
John Dawson the lead, submit Oz Conrad behind the second position. Joey Tanker, he makes a move. This is for, I believe, second, third spot, something like that. Joey Tanker gets a shot from the 27 of Saran Turi, and, and here comes Saban to the inside there. He almost made it four wide down there. Off the corner number four, they come. And it's going to be Joey Tanker winning the Coca-Cola 300. Joey Tanker takes the win at the brand new Coca-Cola Speedway. What a crazy race. I'm looking through all the speeds they ran on the in the draft here. Well, I saw one that was 261 miles per hour in the draft. They did. They went off in the turn number one on the final lap at 264 miles per hour, faster than any Indy car on the circuit. There's the average speed, 147, 765. Joey Tanker wins the race today. Servant, or Saran Tahiri in the 27 finishes second. Eric Matthews, John Dawson, Marco Rossi finishes in fifth. Then six goes to Jacqueline Duhamel, Cement Oscon seventh. Tim Freilich, 8th, Ashley Sears, ninth, and James Acosta finishes in 10th position, and several cars down in the mix there, Jake Sears, our championship winner, got through to wreck, but he finishes 20th, and there's the attrition list right there, Hannah Smith, uh, Bridget Bolayu, Robbie Hardy, Jake, or Josh Sears, Skylon Carlson, Zach Carlson, and Nicholas Carrera. And Bridget and Hannah did not need it. I think that's a, that's just about blown their shot to win the championship in this series. So, but good season so far still for those guys, or for those ladies, I should say. But the big winner today is Joey Tanker. First one for Tanker Motorsports here in the... So, yeah. Points will be in the description of your... Of your, uh, be in the description, and the next race will be in the Kroger Brickyard 300 at Indianapolis.